Hey, welcome to Get In The Van You Can. Chris is here. I'm in uh, Arizona, Quartzsite, Arizona. I don't usually hang around places very long, but I don't know, I, I, something's keeping me here. It's easy, it's free. There's a ton of people here, the big show's going on. Uh, I, I went down there a couple days ago. I, I didn't even really find the main spot, just so full of RVs and traffic was heavy. I, I just don't really like being around a lot of people uh, anymore. <clears throat> I don't even th I don't even think I'd go to a fish show if there was one <laughs> around. To be honest with you, I'd, uh, I might rent it, and listen to it, uh, watch it, watch it live. I'd enjoy that. But I've just got to where I really don't like being around people that much. A lot of people. Uh, I just uh, we change, you know. Everything changes. I was having some thoughts today about van life and and uh you know I've, I've had my i've been doing this about four years now going on going on five probably i think october will be the the fifth year all right so we've got, we got four years behind so I, I don't know between four and five years of doing this but uh you know when this whole thing started out um uh, everyone thought i was crazy um uh, with a few exceptions uh my, my mother understood it for what she told me right before I, I did this that she thought that this was actually one of the most responsible things that she'd seen me done and she was so tired of me seeing uh, or so, so tired of seeing me just uh you know starting over and over and over and just th throwing away everything i own to, to to just go you know and and i i'd done that i've had several storage buildings that i paid on for years full of furniture while I have I voluntarily lived in motel rooms, uh, um, traveling, selling furniture, you know, all the, all the, I just, I had to be out. And uh, after a certain amount of time, which used to be for me 90 days, if it was a 90 day rule, after 90 days, there had to be a change. I had to go somewhere else. So, uh, you know, this was probably, honestly, looking back, one of the best things I've done for myself. So now I can, I can have some stability. Uh, I can have a home. And I could simply just uh, get in and crank it up and drive off when, when the urge comes for me to travel or a new adventure arrives. And uh, um, I, I totally think it's probably been some of the best years of my life, just the last four, and, and doing this. And, I, and because I have that sense of stability and, and not so much worry about... Uh, you know, trying to conform to a life that everyone else wants me to live, but I have no interest in living. And so, uh, uh, because I've done that, I'm actually living in my own personal reality. You know, I'm, I'm living according to the, the rules of life. I'm not working to, to break the rules of life or bend the rules of life or change the rules of life. I simply just admit this is who I am and this is good for me. Uh, this makes the most sense out of the things I've done. I enjoy this. Um, I'm happy doing this. That's okay. You know, and uh, I, I have the freedom to do that because uh, for one reason or another, I, I, I had no one around me <laughs> to, to influence what I did. I mean, I've got a daughter who's grown. She's married now. Um, I... I didn't have any major responsibilities. I had no wife, no girlfriend. I hadn't dated in years. Um, I had, I had pretty much isolated myself. You know, and I've been living nomadically even before the van, one one way or another. I, I keep finding ways to to travel. But uh, I really think this is probably one of the smartest things I've ever done. I'm happy about it. And uh, if you uh, if you want to comment on this go ahead and comment on this i like to those that those of you who know me especially i welcome the comments or if you yourself feel like this would be a a, a smart change for you to make based off of your lifestyle and how you live uh let me know if you have any questions about van life let me know I've, i have personally watched so many van life videos i try not to give a ton of information but i have to remember that you know some of you have no idea what it's like to live in a van and there's a few key functions and uh Maybe I'll cover those topics. If you want to hear them, just let me know what you want to hear. Hey, I also need some likes and some followers uh, in order to make this thing kind of work out. I know it's up to me to make better videos, and my videos suck. But um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to start uh, trying to make better videos. I, I guess I'm just going to go buy a stupid computer and uh, get 
purchase some editing software and uh, maybe a GoPro and just start shooting, filling up cards and doing some editing. I think if I, if I had it all together, like I know what I would like to see, would like to produce, but it's impossible to produce that on a, on a, uh, on a cell phone uh, with, with the, what I've got. Um, so maybe it's time to start stepping up the <coughs> game a little bit and making some real videos. Uh, Lord knows I've watched enough of everyone else's. But uh, just if you want to know something, if you have any questions, let me know. Give me a list of what you want to see um, videos on. You can email me if you want to do that at uh, getinthevanyoucan at gmail.com. That's just all together, getinthevanyoucan at gmail.com. Um, or you can just message me on here, leave it in the comments. But uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to me. Um, I don't care if you watch it or not. I just need subscribers. <laughs> I promise I'll get better if you do. Give me 10 subscribers this week. I'll go buy a GoPro. How about that? Get on it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I look forward to hearing from you. Peace.